once again, we're going to be holding the Anti-Bully Awareness Walk, and that's presented by Play It Forward NY. If you're in the park, please make your way down. We're going to have a good time here today. Play it forward and wide with myself, my mother Deborah, and Tamir. Um, we'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Just to let you know, just in case you didn't know, we're a group that supports children and teens going through bullying. Uh, we do a support group every month. You can find us at Play It Forward NY. And before we get started, I just have a couple thank yous. I have to thank Roseville Amy Zion Church for sponsoring the event, uh, Reverend Janet Jones. Of course, my mother Deborah, my father Peter, brother Jordan, Aunt Barbara, my grandma Lee for donating all the uh, money for the permits that we needed to get this done. Um, also, Tamir, our social outreach network uh, expert, thank you very much. Uh, Jonathan LaSalle, who also attends the group, he wrote a screenplay for bullying, so please look out for that. Um, also, Dr. Melvin Coplo, pediatrician who attends the groups. Staten Island Advance, thank you so much for covering it all, for their promotion, and uh, for sending a photographer and a reporter. Thank you to New York One, Colleen Haggerty, and Jeanne Angeline. I'd like to thank the performers that are coming up in just a little bit, Marissa Pontecorvo, and give her a big round of applause. And a little bit later, G.I. Jean. Um, also, Anthony Sama, uh, Deputy Director of Parks. Frank Cacao from Clove Lakes Park, the 120 Precinct at the Community Affairs Office for helping us get the permits from there. Big thank you to Congressman Michael Grimm who promoted and also uh, gave us a lot of the waters. Also Senator Lanz's office. Thank you so much for supporting us. We appreciate it. That gives us a big boost, so thank you. Um, also, Christopher Guzzo of Making Memories. Chris Reyes of Athlete Player Development. Dana of Everywhere. She does everything for Staten Island, so please give them a big round of applause. Key Food at Arden Avenue and Pathmark on Richmond Avenue for their cookie donations. k, &K Event Insurance Company, Party People Promotions for giving us uh, the speakers that you hear. Also, DJ Little Matt gave us all the wireless mics, so thank you. Al Ligori, photographer who came down. Also, Lance, photographer from CTV, thank you very much for coming. Um, and then also, Tonville High School, Rose Tierno for putting out Word, PS36 and I-75. And I think that covers everybody. And the biggest thank you to everybody who attended today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We're going to be getting things started in just a minute. Just my mother is going to say a few short words, and then we're going to have a very special performance. Because they're the brave ones, the courageous ones, to come out and talk about their experience. <laughs> Anyhow, um, and I want to thank all my friends and my family, and uh, Stefan and Jordan, you inspire your parents <laughs> to do the best you could do, and I want to thank God for everybody that's here. God bless you. Amen. All right, thank you very much. And at this time, I need a big round of applause. Give it up for your American Idol finalist. Her hometown is Staten Island. She's going to be singing the national anthem. So once again, big round of applause. Give it up for Marissa Pontecorvo. Hey. Hey. Oh, say can you see by the dawn we have more people at our walk. Thank you for coming. Hi guys! Hello! Hello. Hi. Hi there! Hi. Oh. Hello. Hello! Thank you. Hello there! Hi! <laughs> Jordan and Hannah, we have. 
And then we have Jackie Key and her family right behind them. Producer of a film called The Bully, and she's also the manager for G.I. Jane. So please give her a big round of applause as she makes her way up. She has a few words before we get started. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Hi, thanks for coming out for a great cause. Um, how was the march? Did you guys enjoy the march? Yeah! Okay. Um, I'm here because Stefan Baroon invited us. He's a great guy. He's actually featured on our Bully Project uh, mix CD that we're doing for the kids. It's uh, basically music that the kids could put in. Parents don't have to worry about profanity, anything. You know, every song is story based. And Stefan is featured on there. I also have uh, my daughter who wrote the film. The, the Bully film. The Bully film is inspired by Jiggy Jada, G.I. Jane. That's her right there. She wrote a song about bullying. I said, you know, do a song about bullying. She wrote the song about bullying. And next thing you know, we turned it into a film. It's a 24-minute narrative film. We went to L.A. Film Festival in February. Damn. Uh, we entered it in several other festivals, and people are really loving it. It's yes. fresh as new. And um, she's going to perform the song that wrote the film for you guys. Woo! And we're going to take it from there. <laughs> I have uh, bully information over there. We got pamphlets over right there, away. cards over there. If you guys want to buy a CD, they're over there. T-shirts, -shirt. they're over there. <laughs> and thank you, and we do this because we want the kids to know that somebody has a voice for them. Yes. There's somebody out there advocating for them. There's somebody that cares that they're not just going to school, getting beat up, and, you know, it's just falling on deaf ears. So that's why I told my daughter, write a song, do something conscious for the kids. And she came up with the bully, and here we are. Thank you, Stefan. God bless. Hi, everybody. Woo! I'm just a little bit more energetic than my mother. I'm just glad I came here. I was a little bit late, and I'm sorry for my tardiness, but I'm going to give y'all a great show, and I hope that the kids really listen to the songs and like the words. And that's my best friend, Baby Girl. She has an amazing voice. She sings like an angel. So we might attract the crowd, so everybody just move to the side when everybody starts coming on in, all right? Make sure that's what we're since the age of 12, little mama hate herself Got raped and fell, deep in golf, is not afraid to tell Her belly aches and swells, she got a baby hell Mama never told her, stay away from where players dwell Her life's a crazy tale, mama never cared Drama everywhere, drugged up, drama in her head You're running near the pier, age 8, trying to escape Never knew love, so she tried to find it in hate Searching for that daddy love, fast forward Now she in the cut, getting the fatty rub While her friends laughing up Hasn't been in class in months, older guys pass a plus Getting a high, ignoring the innocence in her eyes Just to enter them thighs As the room spins two men on the body But she's not too thin Would've never happened if she had true friends Now he's knocking down the door She ain't let do this Somebody should've told so that she was precious And the time the way you shine like a necklace While you run around the streets acting reckless You don't have to give it up to be accepted Baby girl, you're beautiful Just accept Baby love, you are so precious So why give it up for free when it's the best gift? Somebody should have told Shorty that she was precious As a diamond when you shine it like a necklace It's that she's left red shit with a death wish Letting random guys come in when she exits Not thinking of the dangers that exist Now she's pregnant with a baby that will get sick So lost, she just wanted to be loved Wanted to be robbed by a pimp or something like a thug She couldn't stop it It was something like a drug To the point she didn't care who was pumping in the club uh, She tried to reject it But her body's defective she gotta get tested, but she's too scared Figure it'll die down in a few years Another baby with a baby, right? Who cares? But for my sister, light a flame for a few bits Her and her baby never made it past two years Somebody should've told so that she was precious At the time when you shine like a necklace Why you running around the streets acting reckless? You don't have to give it up to be accepted Baby, love you beautiful Just accept that Baby love, 
love you were so precious So why I give your love for free? Well, man, a man do for you, you can't do for yourself Besides a baby, baby girl, don't ruin yourself Take time to grow up, get used to yourself Trying to find that fulfillment from a do what and help You gotta do it yourself, be your own reason We your mother nature, you control your own season So much more than with me, the eye But if you flaunt it, don't be surprised When they better for a piece of pie Cause they don't care when you don't care They don't see the wrong in it once you go there Might tell them no, but that goes out for fair you gotta respect you, cause some fools don't care As a woman, there's a lot of pain we go through But keep your head strong, never let it hold you Yeah, mistakes help you to get to know you Make you rise until you stand on your own too Be okay. Somebody should have told us all this she was precious Every time I wear this arm like a necklace Why you running around the streets acting reckless You don't have to give it up to be So why give it up for free when it's the best gift? Don't rip for me, Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Play Forward and Why, I just want to thank everybody, the family, the teens, the children for coming out today. You guys are going to make a difference. I also want to thank all the politicians for their generous donations of cookies and water. G.I. Jane for her inspiring words and her music. Marissa Ponacorvo, if she's still in the house, I want to thank her for her performance. And I want to thank you all, the parents, for bringing out your kids today and letting them know that they can make a difference. I just want to quickly say a few words that I thought were important for all of you to know. Today we all came out to take a stand against an issue that we all know is dear and near to our hearts. We all have been the victim of bullying. We've seen someone get bullied or we know of someone get bullied in some way, shape, or form. And today, regardless of whatever category you fall into, we all came here to say no to bullying. As American citizens, it's important to understand that we have three basic fundamental rights. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And no one, I mean no one, has the right to deny us of those three basic fundamental rights. But I also want to add one other important right. The right to be individual. The right to be the right to individuality. The right to be who you want to be. You have the right to dress a certain way, do whatever you want, say what you want to say, express your beliefs. No one has the right to take that individuality away from you. I'm gonna give you an important quote that was once said by Harvey Firestone. Never be bullied into silence. Never allow yourself to be made a victim. Accept no one's definition of your life, but define yourself. You need to accept yourself for, for who you are, with your good and bad, and never allow anyone to change that or distort that from you. For it is your characteristics, your understanding, your, in, your uniqueness that make you the person that you are. And to conclude this little speech, I'm just going to say a last few sentences. Four years ago, a man took a nation by storm just by promising us that things will be better. Four years ago, a person used three words to give us hope that the future will be better. That person is our president, Barack Obama. And today, I'm gonna to take a page from history and say the following. Yes, we can make a difference. Yes, we can say no to bullying. Yes, we can better ourselves as individuals. And more importantly, Yes, we can play it forward. Thank you, folks, and have a good day. All right, once again, thank you, everyone.